The United States has many aircraft carriers because they are a key strategic asset to maintain global influence, provide operational flexibility, and protect national interests and allies around the world. In the future, the United States Navy is planning several next-generation aircraft carriers that will bring technological innovations and enhance combat capabilities. Here are the top five future American aircraft carriers that are planned or under development. Number one, USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78. The first of the Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers built for the United States Navy. The ship is named in honor of Gerald Ford, the 38th President of the United States, and is the successor to the long-serving Nimitz class. At approximately 1,092 feet, 332 meters, long and with a main deck width of 256 feet, 78 meters, the USS Gerald R. Ford is one of the largest aircraft carriers ever built. Equipped with the latest technology, the ship is designed to enhance air operations capabilities and long-term endurance at sea. One of the key features of the USS Gerald R. Ford is a new propulsion system that uses two A-1B nuclear reactors, which are more powerful and efficient than the reactors used on previous aircraft carriers. This system allows the ship to travel faster and consume more fuel efficiently. The A-1B reactors are designed to have a longer endurance and require less maintenance, increasing the ship's time at sea. With a more powerful propulsion system, the USS Gerald R. Ford can support more intensive operations in a wider range of waters. The USS Gerald R. Ford is also equipped with more modern flight control systems, including the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, MALS, and Advanced Arresting Gear, AG. MALS replaces a traditional steam-based aircraft launch system using electromagnetics to provide smoother and more efficient acceleration. The AAG system, on the other hand, is designed to capture landing aircraft more quickly and safely. Both systems increase the operational capacity and effectiveness of aircraft launched or landed on the ship. The ship has an incredible flight capacity, with the ability to operate more than 75 aircraft, including fighters such as the F-818 Super Hornet and surveillance aircraft. The USS Gerald R. Ford is also designed to support more advanced aircraft in the future, such as the F-35 Lightning II. The ship is equipped with 24 fighter bays, as well as maintenance and storage facilities to support aircraft logistics needs at sea. The ship's interior design and facilities are also highly sophisticated, with a focus on improving crew comfort and efficiency. The USS Gerald R. Ford can accommodate more than 4,000 crew members and other personnel, including over 1,000 flight personnel. To support long-term operations, the ship is equipped with facilities such as a dining room, rest area, and fitness center designed to improve crew well-being during long operations at sea. The ship is also equipped with sophisticated communication and command systems, allowing for integration with other military units. In terms of performance and survivability, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a number of advanced defense systems, including radar, short-range defense weapon systems, and air and missile protection systems. With the increased capacity of the defense system, the ship is more resilient in facing threats on the modern battlefield. The reliability and endurance of the ship ensure that the USS Gerald R. Ford can survive for a long time in various operating conditions and on challenging missions. Finally, the USS Gerald R. Ford is a symbol of innovation and technological advancement in the naval field. Combining the latest technologies in aviation, propulsion, and defense systems, she enhances the U.S. Navy's capabilities to meet evolving challenges around the world. Since her commissioning and launch in 2017, she has become a vital part of the U.S. military fleet, supporting a variety of strategic missions and making a significant contribution to maintaining global naval power. And all who sail her. Number 2. USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79. 
Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier ordered by the United States Navy to replace the retired USS John F. Kennedy, CV 67. The ship is about 1,092 feet, 332 meters, long and 256 feet, 78 meters wide, making it one of the largest warships ever built, with a displacement of about 100,000 tons. The USS John F. Kennedy is designed to provide very high operational power with the ability to carry more than 75 aircraft, including fighter jets such as the F-A-18 Hornet, reconnaissance aircraft, as well as transport aircraft and helicopters. One of the main features of the USS John F. Kennedy is the use of a nuclear reactor system as a power source. The ship is equipped with two A-1B nuclear reactors that provide much greater power than the reactors on previous class aircraft carriers. With this power system, the ship can operate longer without refueling and has a higher maximum speed, reaching around 30 knots, 56 kilometers per hour. This system also supports higher electricity needs for various advanced systems on the ship. In addition to the advanced propulsion system, the USS John F. Kennedy is also equipped with the latest technology in radar and combat control systems. This ship carries the Enslash Spy 3 radar system that is capable of detecting threats from a distance and is equipped with an advanced combat control system that allows for highly efficient coordination of attacks and defenses. In addition, this ship also has a security and self-defense system equipped with close-range weapons, such as a Phalanx CIWS and a medium-range missile system. The carrier also features a more modern flight deck. The USS John F. Kennedy uses the EMALS Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, which replaces a traditional steam-powered aircraft launch system. EMALS provide smoother, faster, and more efficient launches while reducing maintenance requirements. In addition, the ship is equipped with advanced arresting gear AG, which allows for more precise landings, increasing the safety and efficiency of aircraft operations. With a more efficient structure and more advanced technology, the USS John F. Kennedy also offers better space and facilities for the ship's crew. The ship can accommodate more than 4,000 personnel, including crew members and airmen. The larger and more modern space, equipped with more comfortable recreation facilities, sleeping quarters and dining areas, is designed to support the well-being of the crew during long service periods. It also reflects the U.S. Navy's commitment to maintaining the morale and combat readiness of the ship's crew. The USS John F. Kennedy is not only a symbol of military power, but also reflects the United States' dedication to innovation in defense technology. Commissioned in 2020, it is one of the newest aircraft carriers deployed by the U.S. Navy and part of a fleet that will carry out operations around the world. It is also designed to last for decades with regular maintenance and system upgrades to ensure its ability to withstand evolving global threats. Number 3. USS Enterprise CVM-80 USS Enterprise CVM-80 is a nuclear aircraft carrier currently under construction by the United States Navy. It is the 10th aircraft carrier to carry the Enterprise name and is expected to replace USS Enterprise CVN-65, which was retired in 2017. USS Enterprise CVN-80 was designed to serve the U.S. Navy for more than five decades with a variety of missions, including global power projection, humanitarian assistance, and other military operations. At approximately 1,106 feet, 337 meters long, the USS Enterprise, CVN-80, will be one of the largest and most advanced aircraft carriers in the world. It will be approximately 134 feet, 41 meters, wide on its flight deck, providing ample room to accommodate a variety of fighter and surveillance aircraft. The ship will also have a flight deck that can accommodate up to 90 aircraft, including fighters such as the F-AIM-18 Super Hornet and E-2D Hawkeye surveillance and early warning aircraft. USS Enterprise CVN-80 will be equipped with the latest technology in nuclear propulsion, using two nuclear reactors that will allow the ship to operate without any refueling time limits. 
With the ability to travel at speeds in excess of 30 knots, the ship will be able to carry out strategic missions around the world without relying on conventional fuel. This propulsion system will also contribute to a significant reduction in logistics requirements during long-term operations. The aircraft carrier is also designed to be equipped with advanced technology in terms of control and communication systems. USS Enterprise CVN-80 will have various radars, early warning systems, and integrated communication and monitoring devices to support modern naval operations. The ship is also equipped with weapon systems for self-protection, such as the Close-In Weapon System, CIWS Air Defense System, as well as missiles to deal with threats from the air and surface. As a new generation aircraft carrier, USS Enterprise CVN-80 also introduces a more environmentally friendly design concept. The use of nuclear propulsion technology will reduce its carbon footprint compared to ships with fossil fuel engines. In addition, the design of this ship is also more efficient in terms of energy use and maintenance providing high reliability in supporting the sustainability of combat missions and humanitarian assistance. With all these advanced features, USS Enterprise CVN-80 will be the mainstay of the U.S. Navy in maintaining global stability and security. Thank you for your service and for being here to honor the current shipbuilders. Number 4 USS Doris Miller, CVN-81, will be the fourth Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy. Doris Miller is scheduled to be laid down in January 2026, launched in October 2029, and commissioned in 2032. She will be built at Newport News Shipbuilding, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries, formerly Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding, in Newport News, Virginia. The ship, named Messman 2nd Class Doris Miller, is the first aircraft carrier to be named for both an enlisted sailor and an African-American. It will be the second ship to honor Miller, who received the Navy Cross for his actions during the attack on Pearl Harbor, the first being USS Miller FF-1091. The ship named Doris Miller is equipped with surface-to-air missile weapons and short-range systems, capable of accommodating more than 90 fighter aircraft with a 1,092 foot by 256 foot logging deck, equipped with two A-1B nuclear reactors with four axle propulsion, so it can go at speeds of more than 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. The ship is 1,106 feet long, 134 feet beam can carry loads of up to 100,000 tons. On August 25, 2021, with six members of Doris Miller's family in attendance, the Navy held a first cut of steel ceremony at Newport News Shipbuilding, marking the official start of construction of the fourth Ford-class aircraft carrier. Number 5. USS CVN-82 is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier CVN that is part of the Gerald R. Ford class of the United States Navy. It is one of the first five ships in the class, along with CVN-78, CVN-79, CVN-80, and CVN-81. The U.S. Navy's fiscal 2025 budget proposal states that the carrier will be purchased in 2030. However, Previous budget proposals had the carrier scheduled for 2028. It is possible that USS CVN-82 will be purchased together with the next aircraft carrier, CVN-83, in a two-ship purchase. To purchase USS CVN-82 in 2028, it is estimated that it will require approximately $550 million in AP funds in 2025. The aircraft carrier will be equipped with advanced interceptor equipment automation, upgraded RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, dual-band radar DBR, electromagnetic aircraft launch system MOLs, a 1B reactor, stealth features, can carry up to 90 aircraft, including the Boeing F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornet, Boeing EA 18G Growler, Grumman C-2 Greyhound, north of Grumman E-2 Hawkeye, Lockheed Martin F-35C Lightning II, Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk helicopters, and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. 